Hey guys, it's Coach Carrie, and a few days ago, I was gifted a kohlrabi, which I have never heard of, and I have never tried it, but we are going to be making a slaw out of the kohlrabi. Now, I've been told that it kind of tastes like a cabbage, but it's actually like in the broccoli family, and it grows above the ground. So when I got it, it had lots of leaves on it. You can actually eat the leaves too, and kind of eat it as a kale, but I went ahead and took those off. So um, join me in the kitchen today. We're gonna see what we can do with this thing. So the first thing that you wanna do is actually peel your kohlrabi. And the skin is pretty thick on it, so be careful with it. But you're gonna peel it basically like an apple and just make sure that you get all the skin off. Like I said earlier, you can actually take the leaves um, that were growing on it and use it as a kale, um, but I'm just gonna use this one as a slaw today. So once I've got my skin peeled off of the kohlrabi, I'm just going to kind of chop it into some smaller pieces because I'm gonna be putting all of this in my Ninja food processor. Next, we're going to be using just one apple. I like my apple sweet, tart, and crispy all at the same time. So I'm just going to chop up this one apple and I'm going to throw it into the food processor also. And then I'm going to be using half of a purple onion and that's going to kind of give it a little tartness to our slaw that we're using. I'm going to use one fourth cup of pecans, but if you don't have pecans, you can use almonds or any other type of nut. I'm going to also go ahead and make my dressing. So it's basically two squirts of your Nature's Hollow Honey, and that way you're not adding any additional sugar to this recipe right here. This is our honey substitute, and it is made with xylitol. It's made from a really good company out in Utah. Um, and then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of just plain old yellow mustard, and I'm not very good at measuring, so um, if I just like to do one squirt. I am going to be using my liquid coconut oil, and this is going to help make my slaw dressing here. This is only going to be one fourth cup of coconut oil, and it's okay, guys. It's not going to taste like coconut because this one is actually refined, meaning that it is odorless and tasteless. Then we're going to add the apple cider vinegar to this. This is just going to be about one tablespoon. When I use my apple cider vinegar, I want to have the one that has it with the mother in it because that's where all your health benefits are coming. And then we're going to add some black pepper to this. Nothing special about the black pepper. Just add some, a uh, little bit of kick to it. And then we're going to add our pink Himalayan sea salt and that's going to give us some additional minerals to our slaw that we're making here. So the salt is gonna be about half a teaspoon and I normally just make a little cup with my hand and, and pour it in from there. We're gonna add some parsley. This will add to the flavoring of the slaw here. And so now I have everything in my food processor. I have one bowl that I have basically dirtied up and nothing else here. And you literally are just going to put on the lid and you're going to pulse it. You don't want to um, process it too much, but just kind of pulse it three or four times here and that will give you your slaw consistency. Open it up and there you go. That's all it takes guys. So this whole recipe literally took me about 10 minutes and that included chopping all the um, fruit and the vegetables and everything. And this is going to be a side dish that was going to last our family several days. Keep it in the refrigerator. Um, I tried it earlier and it is absolutely delicious. It does, it tastes a lot like cabbage, maybe a little bit sweeter, or that might've been the um, extra apple that I added in there too. But either way, it is delicious guys. Y'all need to try this one.